Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye sons of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which goeth up. In the morning it flourisheth, goeth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. We are consumed by thine anger. By thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We are troubled. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. It is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers. Under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. <clears throat> because thou hast <clears throat> made the Lord, which is our refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands as thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. 
to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning, thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings, upon the psaltery, upon the harp, the solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O oh Lord, how great are thy works, thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, when the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, Lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. My horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies. Mine ears shall hear the desire of the wicked rise up against thee. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock. There is no unrighteousness in him. The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he has girded himself. The world also is established and it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. But the Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. O Lord God, thou to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, the Lord shall not see. Neither shall the Lord of God of Jacob regard it. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. And blessed is the man whom thou chastisest and teaches him out of thy law. While you're standing, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. And we know that the Lord is so wise in his providence and allowing us to come and celebrate the life of our precious sister, Sister Linda Johnson. Can you say amen? And as we pray, I want you to pray fervently with me because this is such a special time. Father, we come to you today recognizing that you are good and your mercy endures forever. We honor your presence here in this place today. Lord God, you have been so good 
and yet so wise in your sovereignty and allowing, oh God, our sister to move on in her relationship with you, going from uh, earth to glory. And we praise you right now for that. And Lord God, even so, for this time that we've come to celebrate her life, we realize, Lord God, that there are people that miss her. And I pray, Lord God, that your mighty hand will be upon our dear friend and brother, Big Bishop Rick Johnson, oh God, that you would lift his heart, lift his heaviness, bless him, oh God, even so, and strengthen him, and strengthen uh, uh, Isla and Aaron and Charze. Give them, Lord God, even so, your grace. Give them, Lord God, your help. And for the family members, Lord God, hallelujah and the friends oh god that are here we're praying lord god that you would even so allow us lord to cherish the memory of her oh god to cherish and to to be thankful lord god for the time that we've had with her lord lift up lord god lift up the heavy hearts right now and lord god we praise you and we exalt you today because you have allowed us lord god to enjoy years with her and, oh God, even though she will be sadly missed right now, we know, Lord God, that there is an appointed time. This appointed time, oh God, has occurred. But right now, we need you, Lord, to come in here, come in here, come in here, right now, Lord God, and bring us together to celebrate and to praise your name because you have given us, oh God, hallelujah, wonderful people. We celebrate life. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate your mercy. We celebrate your love. Let that love be poured out in this place right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, help right now. Father, lift up right now. Father, give peace right now. Father, come down here right now and move in this place today. In Jesus' name. Come on, open your mouth and give God a praise. Amen. Amen. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on. Father, we need you in this place. Hallelujah. We rejoice. Because you're still on the throne. You're still on the throne. You're still on the throne. Hallelujah. And we bless you. We bless you. We honor you right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah and it is so amen and it is so while you're yet standing while you're yet standing we're gonna have uh, Bishop uh, Porter and then Bishop Wright to come with the Old and New Testament scripture reading while you're yet standing Praise ye the Lord. As we celebrate the life and legacy of this great woman of God, Sister Lady Johnson, I just want to say that she is one of the greatest directors of choirs that ever embraced the Shield of Faith family. One of her main songs was, Jesus, you know. How much we, she could really get into it, we could bear. Our Old Testament scripture reading will come from the 23rd division of Psalms. Bless you, Bishop Johnson and family. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness 
and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord to my friend, Bishop Johnson. I'll be reading the New Testament scripture. Found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption... And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying which is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? And O oh, grave, where is thy victory? God bless you. Hallelujah. You all may be seated. I do want you to know that uh, this is a great occasion. It's a great occasion. Hallelujah. And we want you all to uh, engage today with the Spirit of God and what he's doing in this time of celebration. Amen. And uh, my good friend, Bishop Rick, we, we love you, man. And uh, we want you to know that we are here for you. We're here for you. Amen. We have a timed agenda as far as our program, but I want y'all to praise the Lord. Don't be dry up in here. Don't y'all even start that. I don't, don't be dry up in here. I need somebody to give the Lord some praise up in here. Come on. If you love the Lord, make some noise. Hallelujah. Because God has been good. God is a good God. Hallelujah. And he's good even when we're sad. He's good. Even when we don't feel right, he's good. Even in our sorrow, God is good. So somebody ought to praise his name today. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Every chance you get, give God some praise. Every opportunity, give God some praise. When you think about God's goodness, give him some praise. When you get, when you get to this place, when you see people that leave here, thank God that you're still here yet to praise him. You better, as long as I live, long as I live, I'm going to praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, praisers. Come on, praisers. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, y'all got the idea. Y'all got the idea. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So we're going to move. We're going to move expediently today. Oh, but don't, we're not, we're not going to hinder the praise. Praise God. So this time we're going to have our military in arms at this time. They're going to proceed with the manner in which they honor those that have gone on.
Let the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Very special time to honor First Lady Linda Johnson in such a way for how she served through the years. Truly, her worth is more than rubies. And see, there are special people in our lives who never leave us. Even after they're gone, she's still here. Put your hands together right now for a time of praise and worship. And give God. What not? Give God a word. with one song so we get out of here. Um, this is one of my songs, uh, Because of Who You Are. My mother and my father really loved when I sing this song. And I'm so glad that I have my siblings, other siblings, 
up here to sing with me and to give God praise. You don't have to sit down. You can still give God praise because we worship in the day and we praising God. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will. Worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Say, because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory.
people I ever worked with. Um, her opinions, her comments were just off the charts. So I'm just going to say, Mr. Johnson, you had a beautiful wife, and I loved her. She was my friend, and I'm going to miss her. Isla, Aaron, Char, your mom was crazy. She was crazy. And she didn't mind giving her opinion. Didn't matter who you were. Straight from the heart. And I'm glad she passed that on to you guys. So keep being the people that you are. Stay blessed. And we all love you. Thank you all so much. Good morning. Good morning. To the family, my prayer has been that the Ruach, the Spirit, will continue to comfort you and that the the joy of the Lord will be your strength and that is shalom peace, that peace that passes understanding will continue to guard your hearts and minds. I had the opportunity to work with Linda at the 148 and I, as I thought about, God, what do I say? Psalm 1 verse 3, he, Linda, was a tree that was planted by the rivers of water. She brought forth her fruit in her season and her leaf did not wither and she did not faint. And her fruit, Linda, when, whenever we came to the office, whenever we came for our weekends, for our drills, we were always greeted with a smile. 
no matter what, no matter how much work she had on her desk, always greeted with a smile, whether you were an officer, whether you were enlisted, always the same. And it's that fruit, that fruit that just, <sighs> the Passion Translation says that it's divine love and out of it flows joy and peace, long suffering, but also self-control. And that, regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of what was going on, Linda always maintained self-control. But that was because the love of the Most High was in her. That was because the joy the faithfulness, the gentleness, was be, that's how she could be long-suffering and maintain self-control in any situation, in any circumstance. I used to leave my regular nine to five and ask to go and work at the 148. And now, as I look, I can say it was her fruit, her love that drew me. Her love that drew me. That you would leave one job and go work at another. That was Linda, the same, the same. And so we celebrate her today, her life and her legacy that she poured in each one of us. Thank you. Thank you, Yvette. You know, I've known Linda and I actually enlisted together. I have a picture of me and her with Colonel Cunningham in her office, in his office. and just smiling. She was just a wonderful person. And she was always, always willing to help. Always had to smile. You know, very patient. I'm not sure if I'm that patient now, but I was then. <laughs> and so whenever we needed something, Linda was there. Uh, we had, you know, a certain amount of people that were really close to us. And Linda was part of that group. And so I'm so proud and so thankful that she shared her life with us and with me and made a difference. She made a, a huge difference. And so I wanted to just let you guys know that, that we appreciate it. And thank you for bringing her to us. Thank you. Johnson family. Put your hands together as they come. Good people. Praise the Lord as they come up here. Hey, we got to praise them at all times. My niece, Sade, you got me want to jump up, man. Amen. Hey, we got to always praise him, amen. We got a home, home celebration here, amen. And let's keep it up, amen. Amen. We have some time, but uh, the sister that was speaking, that face, I got to tell you, this face here, I just told my sister, that face there, that's joy, amen. And only God can give you joy, amen. That's joy, amen. The only he can give you joy, amen. Amen, because how, the relationship you have with him, amen. You know, he's the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, and there's nothing like him. He said, how the throne by his sin. I'm going to get started here, buddy. Hold on. I'm long-winded. I'm my brother James, amen. Hallelujah. My God is so good. I feel so good. Don't you feel good today, amen, that you come here and celebrate, amen, a woman of God, amen. We don't have to pretend she's a woman of God, amen. It feel good when you come here, amen. Amen. You should feel good, amen. To get God some praise for a woman like that, amen, that you, you – you have some time to spend with, amen. 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 You should thank God for that, amen. I'm just excited today, amen, because I know her, amen. Amen. She's a good lady. We can't come here and just, we said she is. She's a good lady and she loved the Lord, amen. Amen. I can celebrate someone that loved my Lord and Savior, amen. So we do get the praise. Oh, I got to be obedient. I'm sorry. Amen. Wow, beautiful lady, 
my sidekick at the dinner table at my house. We loved Linda. She was sweet. I can remember when Bishop Johnson brought her over to the house and he looked at me and I looked at him and I said to him, I just went, yes, yes. I'll never forget all of the barbecues we had at the house and Linda just enjoyed coming over, having dinner, eating, laughing, talking, just some really, really good memories for us. We love you. Isla, Bishop Johnson, Charze, Aaron, you are our hearts and have always been there. Always welcome. Amen. Amen. You got to understand, I have never met her, but everything I heard was good about she was an angel on this earth. Men have no power over God's work. She did everything well, everything I heard. was nothing bad about her. And that's so good. I'm all these aunts. I'm the last of my family. But I still thank God for what we got and what we're about to do. I'm so glad we got a God that looked down and never lost the case. And everything he do is well. And we just have to praise and bless his name. We, I know hearts are heavy, but he said, come in the morning, there's joy. And I just praise him and thank him for all he has done and what he's about to do in our life. Because this ain't over with yet. Amen. We got some more to come. God got some more blessing. This is a blessing. We may think it's not, but this is a blessing. She resting in heaven with our Lord and Savior, through Jesus Christ. Amen. Good evening, everybody. We come here from St. Petersburg, Tampa, Atlanta, Boston, because of Linda Johnson. I'm going to emphasize this because Linda got the highest level of paperwork from God. She has a decree. Y'all got degrees. She got a decree. It's fulfilled what she did on this earth. It's fulfilled that she represented this family in a delicate way. She was precious to everybody in here. Everybody got a story. But I'm going to end it on this note. My brother was patient because he got quiet when he met a lady of God. If you're not a lady of God, you're not a lady. You're just a woman. Just like a gentleman. When you're a gentleman, God comes first. He's absolute and he's complete. And more important than that, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, he's our destination. Because if you ever barbecued a cook and burnt your hand, you didn't like it. So who wants to go to hell? Who wants to go to hell? But we, we acknowledge the church and everybody in their proper order, all the pastors, bishops. We're so, boy, it couldn't be a better place. They chose to bring my sister. She's not my sister-in-law. I said she had a decree. She earned that from star. This was a class act him. She kept you humble. She laughed. She would disappear from her husband while I was barbecuing because she didn't want him to know that her brother could barbecue, and he don't eat that stuff that she ate with me. She said, bro, you pretty good. Can I have one more? Especially the sauce, but I loved her. That was special, because there was me and her out there in that hot sun. It, they had to stay in the AC. It's hot in Florida. But I'm done, because everything comes to a limitation. And I love you guys, and thank y'all for all the love y'all received to the family, and especially my brother, and especially my nieces, and especially my nephew. They're a class act, and they don't act. They do God's will. Amen. All right, put your hands together for the Johnson family. We certainly appreciate the representation, the travel that they 
went through to get here to honor First Lady Linda Johnson. And, and it's all about her. Is that right? It's all about, today is all about Linda Johnson. Come on, today is all about her. Praise the Lord. So everything we do right now, it's all about First Lady Linda Johnson. And these family members that have come from near and far are here to honor her today. So we honor her presence. We honor her service. We honor her love. Praise the Lord. And we honor you all for coming to show your love today in the name of Jesus. And it is, it's, it's my responsibility to keep things moving. All right, just so y'all don't, don't roll your eyes at me. Uh, uh, my, my job is to keep it moving, amen? Praise the Lord, amen. And the Pastor Linda was a part of a group called Sisters for Life. And we're going to have the Sisters for Life to come at this time, represented by Pastor Karen Zolita Riley. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Even though we don't understand the circumstances of everything that has gone on, this is still the day that the Lord has made. And we're going to rejoice, and we're going to be glad in it. Y'all don't know our sister like we knew our sister. These ladies here are a representation of a sisterhood that was formulated. And when Linda came to be a part of our group, we laughed, we joked. She was the life of the party. And I didn't realize how valuable and how intertwined we were until she left us. Not saying that we didn't know her. Oh, because we knew her. We knew the secrets. We knew the shopping addiction. We knew her rolling her, squinting them eyes at you and cutting those eyes at you. She spoke without even speaking. So she was with one of our sisters called an anomaly. An anomaly is something or someone that deviates from what is standard or expected. Linda did that. So here today, our sisters, we have two that could not be here. Sister Angie Brunson is ill. Sister Stephanie Hammer Burrell could not be here as well. But they have come as far as Missouri, Las Vegas. We represent California from Fresno to Tracy to San Diego to Corona to Altadena to Palmdale, Lancaster, and Long Beach. Our sister was valuable to us. And so I'm just going to read a tribute to her because we all took something and put it together that represented this lady, this, this jokester, this, this ride. I don't know who I'm going to sit by at the convention <laughs> passing me my mints and, oh, y'all just don't know. But this is our tribute to our beloved Lady Linda Johnson. Lady Linda Johnson, our dearest sister with roots in the soulful city of Kenlock, St. Louis, Missouri, was not just a beacon in her church and nation, but the very heart that kept Sisters for Life pulsating with love, laughter, and sisterhood. Alongside her husband, Bishop Rick Johnson, Linda infused love into the lives of their children, Aaron, Isla, and Charze, whom she treasured. Oh, she talked about her children and was totally devoted. Her leadership and business savvy coupled with her gracious personality spread warmth and light at the Shield of Faith Christian Center of Pasadena. Beyond her astonishing devotion to both spiritual, she always wanted to know more about the word of God. She always said, I want to study more about his word. And na national duties, Linda had a zest for life that was infectious. To witness her direct a choir, cut up a step, 
praising the Lord was a sight to see and an invitation to join in the praise. Her passion for travel. When we went on our cruise, Linda was the one that we were afraid that was going to get lost because she ran back and had to get some shoes and the bus, I mean, the ship was getting ready to leave. And we're standing over the balcony. Linda, you got to come on. You're going to get left, girl. But she had a passion for travel and an unparalleled joy in unearthing treasures of thrift stores were facets of her vibrant spirit. So to all of us sisters for life, Linda was not just a member. She was our sister. She was a storyteller who painted our precious times together in hues of joy. And her gift of waving laughter into tales, her impeccable discipline, and her spirit of conversations render her a rare jewel in our lives. Linda's journey, her metamorphosis from trials to radiant butterfly, epitomized the it epitomized her spirit and grace and she was a jewel she was our sister of elegance strength vitality whatever word that you can picture in your mind that is linda johnson so as sisters for life we honor our sister for the remarkable and courageous journey of her unwavering faith her selfless love and her endless dedication her presence touched our lives. The Sisters for Lives, we stand together today to express our gratitude for the light that she brought in our lives. We're heartbroken. You all have no idea how heartbroken we are for that loss. But our sister, nevertheless, her memory will be forever be a bittersweet memory in our hearts. And I was so grateful that I was able to talk with her two weeks before she passed. And we had a good conversation and I brought her back something from Israel and she was able to put it on her arm. I was able to brush her hair. I was able to talk with her. And I'm gonna miss my sister. We're gonna miss our sister. But you know what? Her memory will never be forgotten. We're here for Isla and Charze and Aaron and Bishop Rick. We are here because that's what we stand for. We are the Sisters for Life. So with Angie Brunson, Stephanie Burrell Hammer, Daphne Cowan, Lisa Dorsey, Patty Delaney, Beverly Haynes, Pamela Heller, Lena Horn, Gwendolyn Matthews, Ivory Jamerson, Rick, Denise Richardson, Deborah Spencer, BJ Struthers, and Tina White. We stand with our sisters. And so when you see us, you're going to see Linda. Because we're not going to let you forget our sister. Wherever you turn around, you're going to see Linda. Whatever song you hear, whatever choir director you see direct, you're going to remember Linda Johnson. Because the Lord placed her here to make a difference in every one of our lives. And her sunshine, and that smile, and the cutting of those eyes, and the eating of the food, which took her a long time to make up her mind. We're going to remember Sister Linda. And so we present this to the family. And we also have a token that we're going to place on your necks today. And her picture is on it. And on the back of that token, it says, Our sister for life, Linda Johnson, rest in Jesus. Amen. going to ask Bishop Rick Isla if you would just stand or no you if you could come up here we'd like you to come if you don't mind Isla's my baby and Charze Bishop Rick Sister Charze
Amen. We're going to have Elvis Griffin at this time to come to represent the brothers and sisters. We're going to ask him to come and to give uh, remarks. Elvis. Just one person was going to speak. That would be Elvis Griffin. Berry. I am Dr. Lisa Mendes' baby sister, and these are my brothers and sisters and my son, and I didn't know I was the only one speaking, but okay, but as of Linda being my sister, she definitely was the fire in the family. I can say that Holy Spirit, that Holy Fire in our family, she continued to keep that fire going, and, and, and ooh, she had that caring spirit. She wore her name well. Linda, meaning beautiful, clean, and pretty. She did all of that, and I was just so blessed to have Linda as a sister because just as the words of my brother, he said that she never said no, and she's always was willing to be there for us all. And ever since I was a baby, I can remember Linda, Linda being that strong, special pillar of a person in my life. She was always willing and supportive. I rem remember some, so many sp stories, just this one of them, we was in um, – a picnic at Shield of Faith when I was pregnant with my son, Diamond. And as a matter of fact, it was Sister Andrea that was up to bed. And I was on second base. And um, she was just so supportive of me. And I remember it was time for Andrea to bed. And I didn't didn't run. First, it was A by the A by the A. And she missed the first one. But when she A by the A and hit the second one, I was supposed to run. And I couldn't run. And they were like, go, oh, Lisa, go. And I couldn't run. And I gave Linda eye contact, and I saw that care and that support and willing spirit in her. And she came running to me and running to me, and she was like, Sister, why you didn't run? You know, I was like, I said, I'm glad I felt good myself. She said, what? I said, but I didn't have to go. She was like, girl, your water broke. She rushed me. I was like, oh. You know, she rushed me off the field. We went to the hospital and everything, and she was just there. Oh, lay back, and don't hold your breath. And, and I'm going to having a baby was for me you know she was just so willing and so supportive but that just let me know that the care and the love she had for me she was there for me all the way a little bit till we got to the when they were saying push then she was like you know she, she was a little bit out of her head you know but she was there for me and I can remember so many stories about her and a very special friend minister she's a foster she remember she refreshed my memory of how Linda just silently guided us to Christ, you know, whether we knew it or not, and whether we even cared except about ourselves or not, she just did it her own way. She was just a special person in her own way. And she, one word she told me is, the only way you see results, little sister, if you stay consistent, you know, and, and that, that just, I don't know, it just, it may brings me to say that something I've learned about my sister that I'll always cherish, and I'll keep it in my heart, is change. Because she changed not. She remained the same. She kept that, she kept that bold, serious love. It was like a, a vast colossus of love for us. She made me feel so trusted, and I've always looked up to her. It's, it's something I, I hope I always have, you know. And she did it in her own way. And she even did it with a smile. Yeah, she was comical, y'all. I don't know that. Okay, I got to tell this story. This this one, this, my family know this one real well. <laughs> About Linda? About Linda? Okay. 
Okay, well, so I must tell you, we was at Six Flags one time, and um, it was all, it was the whole family, me, Lyndon, and, and my son, Diamond, and Island, Aaron, everybody. And we was about to get on this ride, and we was about to get on this ride, and, and, and the man rushed over there to us, and um, then he, uh, well, to me, and said, oh, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am, but you can't ride this ride. Pregnant people can't ride this ride. Pregnant people can't ride this ride. And Linda just fell out, you know, and I'm going, sir, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> you know, he was like, well, what's the, I, I was like, chicken wings, ham hocks, b barbecue, chocolate cake, watermelon, what? What? You know, he was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. And Linda just fell out, just fell out. I said, okay, 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 okay. You know, so we got on the ride and everything. And, you know, the funny part about it is when we got off the ride, and the man said, oh, come again. Thank you for riding or whatever. And I, mean, I was about to holler at old dude. And, but Linda, like, grabbed my arm for a minute. She was like, you know, sister, I, j I just don't know why that man said that you gave me a little face. I said, you hear what? Don't even try it, sister. You was the first one to laugh, you know. <laughs> And she was like, oh, well, you know, sister, just, just, just hold your peace. Just hold your peace. I said, this one right here, you know, and she just had that, that sense of humor, you know, and I, I, would, I would truly miss all those days, but. It took me some work, it, you know. I, I thank God. And I, as I look towards the heavens, which is where she is, and I know where my peace comes from. I truly say, I can truly say that I know she made her home, and it's up to us, well, it's up to me to get myself right and keep it right so I can see her face again. Because all that laughing she did in Six Flags, when I see her again, it won't be no more laughing, sister, because I'm going to be gone with all that. I got to be, so my wings will be able to get me up there. But <laughs> I just want to say, I love you, sister. Always will. Until I see your face again. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Put your hands together. Amen. For you all have been so kind. Oops. So kind. Amen. Truly, love of family is one of life's greatest blessings to have family. So we're so thankful. And even having your church family is such a pleasure. Amen. People that you've worshipped with and fellowship with. And uh, we have a reunion choir that's going to come and sing at this time. And uh, we appreciate the, uh, the praises that go up before the Lord. And uh, we want to let the Lord know that we appreciate Sister Linda as well, First Lady Johnson, for her uh, participation in music and the worship as a part of the church. So this time, we're going to turn you into their hands at this time. God bless. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So Mom Linda, First Lady Linda, loved to play games and she liked to give prizes. So we're going to do that real, real quick. Is there anybody in here who has a red pin? I need to see. You can't just raise your hand now. I got to see it. I need evidence, huh? Uh, uh, red pin. Red pin. Oh, there's a red pin. You got a gift. Come on down. Oh, is it a marker? No. Who? It's a pen and a marker? Come on. Auntie Shalon, come on down. Also, this is reunion. So if you ever have been under the direction of First Lady Linda in the choir, we are asking you come on down. It's a song that she always did. So you'd be right on at home. On. Or if you want to anyway, praise the Lord. Make a joyful noise, huh? Make a joyful noise. Come on up. Make haste, huh? Huh? Altos on this side, sopranos on this side, tennis right in the middle. Here we go, here we go. Thank you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We thank the Reunion Choir for their selection. And uh, there is a spirit of joy in the house. It, praise God. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Today, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get some joy in the strength of the Lord that will help you through this time. And praise God. Uh, in the best interest of time, we're going to ask um, you to um, basically consider the obituary. And I know that some of you don't have cal uh, don't have copies of the program. We're going to have Sister Jordan to come at this time uh, for the sake of the condolences and resolutions to come at this time. And Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, here we go. The Lord's love never ends. His mercies never stop. They are new every morning. Lamentations 3, 22, 23. Just a little reminder that you are in God's care and my prayers today. Bishop Johnson, please accept my sincere condolences during your time of grief. I pray our God, Lord Jesus, will comfort you and yours and your family, Evangelist Sherry Walls. Resolution in lovely memory of First Lady Linda Julia Ann Johnson. We, the members of Open Arms of Love Apostolic Church Memphis, Shield of Faith Fellowship of Churches in, in Sorry. Would like the family of First Lady Linda Julia Ann Johnson to know that we extend our sincere sympathy. May you find comfort in each loving memory and peace through your faith in the only wise and almighty God. Whereas First Lady Johnson was a faithful, committed member of Shield of Faith Pasadena, California, who let her light so shine before men that they may see her good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Whereas First Lady Johnson had the heart of a servant, which was evident by her service in the house of the Lord, in her community and serving others as well as her many years of service in the Air National Guard. Therefore, be it resolved that the passing of our beloved sister in Christ is the will of God and we are encouraged and consoled in the words of Jesus who said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the family because of, of us, of all of us have in common bond that will connect us for the rest of our lives. We cannot replace First Lady J Johnson, but will attempt to demonstrate her love for you. Be it furthermore, be further resolved that a copy of this resolution will be given to the family and a copy kept in the church archives. To the family of First Lady Linda Johnson and John Julia Ann Johnson, we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great, but we want you to know that we share in your sorrow, but more importantly, we recognize that this loss is heaven's gain. Humbly submitted and signed on this 31st day of August 2023, the officers and members of Open Arms of Love Apostolic Church Memphis, Should of Faith Fellowship of Churches Corporation, Bishop Ren Renwick G. Porter, pastor. And the last one due to time. There were also resolutions sent by Pastor Linval Stewart from 
Hope Church in Tampa, Florida. There was a resolution sent by Bethlehem Temple Church. Pastor Bishop Gentry W. Richard, Jr. There was a resolution sent by Greater Church Temple Apostolic Church, Bishop Dr. Donnie N. McGriff, Senior Emeritus, and Elect Lady District Elder, Dr. E. Gladys Greer McGriff. Another resolution from Life Changing Deliverance International Church, Bishop Robert and Pastor Patricia Walker. Resolution from Shield of Faith Christian Center, Long Beach. Bishop Arlene M. Alexander and Lady Pastor Bobby J. Alexander. And the last resolution we will I'll read for you today is the resolution of honor for First Lady Linda Johnson. For as much as Linda, for as much as Lady Lin, Linda Johnson has lived as a faithful and supportive ordained minister in the Shield of Faith Fellowship of Churches, and because Lady Linda Johnson served her congregation faithfully as First Lady of Shield of Faith Christian Center of Pasadena for more than 25 years, and because Lady Johnson was a faithful and supportive spouse, spouse to her husband, the Honorable Bishop Ricky Johnson, and because Lady Johnson was the second lady in the Shield of Faith Fellowship of Churches, an international apostolic organization which reaches all continents of the world in the name of Jesus Christ, and because Lady Johnson was a willing participant in the Woman of Faith Women's Ministry of the Shield of Faith Fellowship of Churches, therefore the executive board of bishops, along with all pastors, ministers, leaders, and members of the Shield of Faith Fellowship of Churches International stop to honor God for this wonderful individual who has been a shining light among us all. And we give thanks to God for having blessed us with Lady Linda Johnson. We lift our prayers to God, invoking his comfort for Bishop Ricky Johnson and also for Isla, Aaron, and Charze on the occasion of this passing of their precious love. Finally, we resolve that the Shield of Faith Fellowship will never forget the invaluable contributions which Lady Linda Johnson made to this fellowship in her many years of service to God in our midst. Apostle Henry B. Alexander and Dr. Marty Alexander, First Lady. Thank you. All right, we thank the Lord. This time I'm going to have Bishop Marty to come at this time for the presentation for the women of faith. Afterwards, we'll have a presentation from the uh, mayor's office of the city of Pasadena as well, Pastor Sandra Johnson, uh, who, who will come right after Bishop Marty. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Riley. God bless you. First Lady Pastor Linda Johnson was a delightful lady. She had the most charming smile, and she was funny. Yes, she was. I knew... First Lady Linda before she married Bishop Johnson. And all of those years, I have known her to be a lover of God and a person who respected and loved the church and was willing to do what she could to better the kingdom of God. And yes, Bishop Porter, she could direct the choir <laughs> like nobody else. She was wonderful. Bishop Johnson, I want to take a moment and commend you for the excellent job you did of taking care of her. You are by her side. You took care of every need. And we want you to know we appreciate that. Bless you. To the family, Isla, Aaron, Charze, you kept a vigil at the hospital. You made sure every need was taken care of. And we are appreciative to that for the near and the extended family and for every member of the Shield of Faith Christian Center of Pasadena 
We want you to know that we love you. We appreciate you. We're standing with you. And we're praying for you. On behalf of Apostle Alexander and myself, we extend to you our heartfelt condolences and sympathy. And I want to tell you that everybody grieves in a different way. And sometimes after the homegoing service is over and we go home and we sit down and we reflect, that's when it really hits us. But I want to assure you that we stand for you and we're praying for you. And if there's anything we can do for you, we're at your service. And I want to remind you of a scripture that the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. And he told them, our God is a God of comfort. Now, we have a service like this, and we say wonderful things, and we commend and talk about, and we encourage, and we recite scripture, but I want to assure you with all those that are beneficial, those words that are stated, nothing can compare to the comfort that God can give. Nobody can go down deep into your heart. Nobody can do what the Lord can do. He's able to comfort you. He's able to make a way for you. He's able to support you, sustain you, and strengthen you. So we say to this family, we are on your side. We love you. Linda is precious. She's precious in our heart. But I want to encourage you in the days to come to remember that God is your comfort. He is the one that's going to make a way for you. Now, on behalf of the women of faith, we have a presentation that we want to make. And I want to take a moment to thank First Lady Rosita Eanes because she's the one that helped um, make this possible and I also want to say thank you to Bishop Michael Eanes who drove all the way from Fresno to bring this plaque to this service. So I'm going to read it to you and then I'm going to ask one of the armor bearers. You don't want me to do that? Oh okay. All right. <laughs> when the apostle comes you have to stop and wonder what's going on. In memory of First Lady Linda Johnson you are loved and appreciated for all that you have done and all that you have meant to us. We thank God for your godly life and your sweet spirit. Rest in the arms of Jesus. You will never be forgotten. Women of Faith, Shield of Faith Fellowship of Churches, International Incorporated, August 31st, 2023. And I want you to know that this is from all of the women of faith and I want to thank the Lord for First Lady Rosita Eanes, again, as I stated, and Bishop Eanes, who drove this all the way so we could have this here from Fresno, and also for Pastor Nia McTeer, who is the secretary of the Women of Faith. God bless you. I would like for this to go back in here, Apostle, and it goes in the purple bag because the Women of Faith represented with purple. And if we could have one of the armor bearers come and give this to the family. Just slide it in there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. We love you. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. I am here representing Pasadena, Shill of Faith. Oh, Pasadena, Shill of Faith. Okay, but uh, I'm so honored to be in the presence of my bishop. We have a wonderful first lady, our queen. So uh, in honor for you today, we have a, um, representing the city of Pasadena from the mayor office. I thank God that they recognize our lady who is so worthy. Certificate of recognition, Linda J. Johnson, in loving memory of a meaningful life and with appreciation for a 20 Eight, they say years, but it's 28 plus years of service to Shilla Faith Christian Center. 
Minister Johnson left a lasting impression on all who knew her and may cherish the memories created through the years. Peace to you and your family upon the loss dated this 31st day of August by our Mayor Pasadena, Mayor Victor M. Gordo. And so praise the Lord. And uh, from my church to Pasadena, I'm not going to read it, and, but it, we have, we want to present to you our Pasadena resolution for our lady, Linda Julianne Johnson. And just one, I'll just say one little section, whereas Lady Linda Johnson was a devoted woman of God. Her life radiated love for family, for God and her family. We feel that her influence of living a genuinely Christian life shall live in the hearts of her family, her friends, as long as